everybody. So I wanted to do a quick video that covers the changes that are coming up to Ash's passive. Here, here's the way her passive is written right now. Critical strike chance increases 3% every 3 seconds while not attacking. Now this scales over time, but the bottom line is if you wait long enough, you're guaranteed to get 100% critical strike chance, right? One hit in, it's a crit. Now pay attention. So now it starts at actually 8%, and now it continues to grow based off of that. See how that updates? Now right now though, here, here's where you're going to have to get the key difference. So boom, I use it right now on this version, which is on live. You can see the crit chance resets the second you start ta attacking. It continues like that, but it gives me a shot with that cr crit chance. So watch what happens when I take a shot. Boom. It's reset to its base, which is actually, you know, my current crit chance level. It goes right back down. So I've got an increased chance of getting a crit off by whatever the value is. And let me show you what's on PBE. The new passive builds in stacks, right? And so you saw there, like, once I get up to like 22% and I take a shot, it resets altogether. This new passive doesn't reset, but it also doesn't give you like an increased crit chance. One stack of focus while not attacking, so it's not giving you increased crit chance. It's just saying once you get up to 100 stacks, you will crit. So as you can see right now, it's saying, you know, 100 stacks, now I'm ready to crit. So the next thing I do is a guaranteed crit. So it's kind of exactly the same way I'd start normally. It gives you the exact same strength you have for like a level 1 fight where you're going to get your crit off for sure. I've critted. You see the little timer kicks on. This is the exact same way the other one worked. That's the part I don't get for sure. You saw how it started at 17? I mean, I've got a base of 8. So for whatever reason, it chose 17. And look what happens when I attack. It stays and the passive restarts counting. The initial one's always like a big bump. So, again, I take a hit, it stays at 77, you're gonna watch it jump a bunch and then increase by three. So, I don't know why they give you that extra, maybe they actually count that time towards it when you're not attacking. So it could very well be worth it to just wait the three seconds. So that's all I wanna show. Also on the tower, if you notice here too, it's, you know, it does the same sort of damage, blah, blah, blah. It's not ticking away or increasing. You've got to literally be out of combat and not hit anything for three seconds. Anyway, so that changes the way you can play a little strategically in lane. It's another thing to think about as an Ash player while you're going, you know. All right, do I wait an extra second if I go in right now? When's my crit going to be up, etc. Here, let me go back and get a Brawler's Glove, just uh, another one here. This put me at a base of 16%. So all I'm going to do here is run over, crit once, and then see where I start for like my base value. And let's see where I reset. So boom, three seconds later. Do not confuse mercy. And we start at 25. Thanks for watching.